Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Muhammad Sheikh's channel. Please click the bell icon so that you may receive timely notifications of our upcoming videos. And Surah Hud 11 and Ayah 71. وَأَمْرَأَتُهُ قَائِمَةٌ فَضَحِكَتْ فَبَشَّنَّهَا بِإِسْحَاقِ وَمِنْ وَرَائِ إِسْحَاقَ يَعْقُوبِ And his wife was standing and she laughed. Then we gave her the good news with Isaac and from the back of Isaac, Yaqub. Now this is the good news of Ibrahim al -Islam and to his wife also. His wife was وَأَمْرَأَتُهُ قَائِمَةٌ فَضَحِكَتْ فَبَشَّنَّهَا بِإِسْحَاقِ his wife was standing and she laughed. We gave her the good news with Isaac, Isaac. And from the back, Isaac is Yaqub. Now in this ayah, we come to know this is the whole, the dream was completed, the whole lifetime was completed, and now the good news of Isaac, another son is given to, to Ibrahim, peace be upon him. So now Allah says, Surah Hud 11 and Ayah 72 and 73. قَالَتْ يَا وَيْلَتَا أَأَلِدُوا وَعَنَا عَجُوزٌ وَحَادَا بَعْلِ شَيْخَا إِنَّ هَادَا لَشَيْءٌ عَجِيبٌ She said, O oh, alas, do I, have, do I give birth and I am incapable of old and my husband is old. Surely this is an amazing thing. Now, you see, she is saying that, O oh, alas, do I give a birth? Do I give a birth? When I am incapable, incapable and old, old and incapable, I'm old and incapable, and my husband is old also, how can I have a son? In other words, how can I have a son when I'm old and my husband is also old? And if it, if it is so, then this will be an amazing, amazing thing. This will be an amazing thing. She's surprised. I would like to inform you here, in Arabic, her, uh, Ibrahim's wife says, Ajuzun means incapable. And if you if uh, if you note in the Quran that the that I will I will read you I will tell you in my own words that Ibrahim al -Islam in the Quran confirms that the both sons was given to him in an old age. But if you note in the Quran with Ibrahim al -Islam's wife, the first good news Rabbi Habli min al sign that I read for the first time. Rabbi Habli min al now Halim. So the good news was given to Ibrahim al Islam when he asked Allah to give a son. So the good news was given to Ibrahim al Islam because he was an old. He cannot bear child because of old age. So that why the good news was given to the first son, Ismail Islam. The good news was given because to him that we gave the good news to Ibrahim al Islam of a son. Now this uh, Ibrahim al Islam's the, then Ibrahim al -Islam, the first son, well, good news was given to him because he was old. Now the good news also, I, I read you before, the good news is given to his wife also in this ayah. Because she is now old also, now because of her old age, she cannot produce a child. Because of her old age, not because she, because she did not have a child before. Why am I telling you all this? Because the Quran speaks of one wife of Ibrahim al -Islam. That is the important part I want to. So that is why in Surah Ibrahim and Ayah 39, Alhamdulillah, Ladi wa habali al kibari Ismaila wa Ishaq. Inna Rabbi la Samiyu dua. Praise be to Allah who has granted me in old age Ismail and Ishaq. Surely my Lord is the listener of the calls. In this ayah, Allah says to Ibrahim al Islam, al 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 uh, Ibrahim al Islam is confirming that Ismail and Isaac, both of them was given to him in old age. So first good news was given to only Ibrahim al-Islam, Rabbi Habli min al-Salim, Fabashar Nahu bi Ghulam in Halim. The good news is given to only Ibrahim al-Islam because he was old, not his wife. Now when he was more old and his wife was also old, so she became Ajis. You understand what I'm saying? And that is why the good news was given to her also. And to Ibrahim al-Islam also. For Isaac and, and for Mr. So this is an important point. So now if you look into the Bible, the story of two wives. Abraham had two wives. The Bible, the Christian, they don't marry two, they don't have two wives. But they, in the Bible, they have got three wives of Abraham. And in the Bible, David had nine wives. And in the Bible, in the Solomon had 1,000 wives.
700 wives and 300 concubines. So Bible is full of wives, you know, who are wives and wives. And they are laughing at us, the Muslim world, because we marry more than one. This, I was telling you, Sarah and Hajra, Sarah and Hagar, born woman and half-sister, is mentioned all in this confusion, mentioned in the Bible. The Quran speaks categorically Abraham and his wife. Allah does not see Abraham as two wives and one wife and this wife. Ismail and Ishaq are the real brothers of Ibrahim, the son of Ibrahim. And he had one wife, mentioned the Quran. The first Ismail Islam was born, she was a normal healthy woman. But when she became, of, because due to old age, she cannot bear a child, then a good news was given to her also that you will bear a child and Ishaq was born. That was the time difference, I said, because of when he became Ismail Islam, became adult, and both Ibrahim Islam raised the Ismail Islam raised the foundation of the house, they were adults. So after completing everything, then Allah gave the good news of Ishaq. Uh, firstly, I would like to thank you for an exhorting uh, lecture. Uh, my question is about Ibrahim, peace be upon him. As you said, he had only one wife. Was she Hajra who went between Safa and Marwa? And I would like to ask you about the significance of Safa and Marwa as well. Okay, actually in the Quran, uh, I, when I was discussing in the ayahs, that she was standing and the good news was given to Ibrahim Rasan's wife. The Quran does not give any names to any prophet's wives, in, including Ibrahim Islam or any prophet wife is not. No woman's name is mentioned except Maryam. In the Quran, the name is only Maryam, peace be upon her, name is mentioned, if you, woman. Otherwise, so if, if, if you, uh, you are thinking that Hajra or among the Hajra or Sarah, now whom to select? <laughs> because, because the Quran speaks of one wife. So let us see what the, because, because in the concept is the people believe uh, uh, so-called that Sarah and Hajra run between these two mountains, Safa and Marwa. And because she now all these uh, people are following the Sunnah of Hajra. I don't know, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and all the prophets was when doing Safa Marwa, was thinking about Hajra? I don't know. Because Quran says, Atiullah wa atiur Rasul, obey Allah and follow the messenger. So now if you look in the, if you look Al-Baqarah 2 and Ayat 158, Inna Safa wal Marwata min Sha'irillah, faman hajjal bayta awir tamara, fala junaha alayhi ayin yad tawwa fa bima, wa man tatawwa khayran fa inna Allah shakun alim. Surely Safa and Marwa are, for, from, are from the symbols of Allah. So whosoever perform Hajj pilgrimage to the house or Umrah visited, it is not a sin over him he, that he goes around them. And whosoever volunteers better, then surely Allah is he who is thankful knower. In the ayahs of Allah, Allah says, Safa inna Safa wal Marwata min Allah. So Safa and Marwa are the symbols of Allah. Faman Hajjal Bayt Abitawa, if you are for visiting there for Umrah or for Hajj. If you come go around this Safa and Marwa, there is no sin in, in it. So this is, is enough. But why to bring Hajra in between, you know, why she came is in the, again if you go to the Bible, I will refer to you, if you write down the reference, Genesis 16 and 15 verse. And Hagar bare Abraham a son, Abraham called his son's name which Hagar bare Ismail. Therefore she said unto Abraham, cast out of his bond woman and her son, for the son of, his, of this bond woman shall be uh, here with my son, with, with Isaac. Now Sarah did not like this idea that Ishmael was born from the bond woman. So, so she said to Abraham, cast out of his bond woman and her son, so that they cannot become the part of inheritance. So shall be uh, here with my son, with Isaac. So now Abraham, in Genesis 21, verse 14, Abraham rose up early in the morning and took bread and a bottle of water. And he gave it to unto Hagar, putting it on her shoulder and the child, and sent away, and she departed and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba. That, and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba, that is referring to the desert. Now this bottle of water and Hagar and, and, the, and the son Ashmael, the small child, was sent away by Abraham 
in the Bible in the desert. And then you, that, that the story comes. So, but the Quran does not speak. Safa Marwa are the symbols of Allah. Then there is no sin if you do pilgrimage.